Our Plant Yourself workshop today is part of the L Plan 2040, which is our effort to update the comprehensive plan for Lincoln and Lancaster County and also the Long Range Transportation Plan. The first part of our game, we're going to be looking at the residential development. Where are we going to put those 40,000 dwelling units that we talked about? The yellow pieces represent a square mile of land that would go on the fringe of the city and would contain 1,500 dwelling un units. And these dwelling units would be your single family, detached and attached. So that means duplexes and single family homes. They are meant to be area specific so that that square mile is a square mile on the map. So those, those magnets should stick to your map and cover up one square mile of land. That square mile also includes, and, and most of our typical square miles include this as well, space for maybe a neighborhood commercial center, a grocery store, um, a video store, some gas stations, things like that, a school, um, parks, all that sort of thing. So orange squares are 500 units of those higher density uses, a, a apartment complex. It might be one apartment complex with 500 units in it. Or it might be several different um, smaller apartment complex or condominiums, something like that. It would be possible to create a really low cost. Yeah. We're going to be serving the new growth and the rest of the city with some transportation improvements. We're going to start off by doing the arterials. So that envelope that says part two arterials is the first one. You'll find little strips in there that are purple or blue. And they'll say either two lane offset or four lane. We're going to serve all of those yellow squares with arterial roads. Now, it's to get in this time. Let's do that. I think technically it's a highway through there. That's where we get this state from. That's a lot. We went for the trolley, we went for bike routes, we went for all the bus options. We went for repairing all the sidewalks. What we shorted on was we didn't... High density growth pretty much from the center of the city out um, toward the uh, northeast. Um, we did increase taxes. Uh, we figured the uh, increase in taxes like the cost of one meal out for your family or a haircut. And we see a lot city. more multi-unit dwellings in the downtown area. We'd like to see 4,500 your units down there between um, I think one thing that we felt really good about our plan is that um, when we started to add up our arterial road costs we, we started to quickly we consensus was pretty quick to say well maybe it is a good idea to send some of the multifamily back into the existing city instead of all the all on the edge so we actually ended up trading we talked about something fairly easily agreed upon we agreed that the Stevens Creek area uh, if, it's, if we're going to open it up as we're apparently going to do, then we, we want to see a fair amount of development in there to increase efficiency with, with utilities, uh, transportation, etc. So, you know, we landed on that fairly easily as one place, but we also wanted to see this multi-directional growth too. So, you see uh, areas scattered around. To make our outer um, urban fringe development um, somewhat in lumps instead of spread out. Um, I think that was mainly for the road consideration. Um, um, we next did. steps in this, we will be developing a report of this um, workshop where we'll take all of your comments that we collected during the workshop, we'll take the pictures of the maps and the statistics on what projects you, you selected and that sort of thing and put that into a, a report that we'll be sharing with our um, advisory committee as well as posting online at lplan2040.lincoln.ne.gov. Um,